Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Grace. In this video, as you guys can already see, it's going to be a little mix tutorial. So, if you guys are excited to see, then continue watching because this video is going to be really detailed. And also, all the products used in this video is going to be linked down below in the description box. So, let's continue on with this video. I've already prepped my skin right before the video, but the first thing I always do is my brows because my brows are the messiest part of my entire makeup routine. And let me know down below in the comment section, are you guys a brow pencil girly or a pomade girly? Because I bought a brow dip pomade a few days ago. It was too light for me, so I just ended up putting it back in my drawer. But I really, really want to master my brow routine i mean my brows are not bad yet but i just feel like there's no such thing as too good honestly but now i'm just going over some primer and this step is optional but i go with the east gel which is for fancy beauty now do not ask me what i know what this actually does i just use it because it gives me that type of a glow apparently it's supposed to be like a light foundation but as y'all can see it looks just really glowy so i just went over some foundation today i decided to mix up my revolution foundation which was a little bit reddish toned which i showed you guys on my hand it wasn't really my type of skin color but then i also went over with the lawyer paris my normal foundation now when i mix these two together it turns out to be a more so medium to full coverage because the revolution is a full coverage to medium and the l'oreal is a medium to light coverage so i just mixed those two together and we started trying out this underpainting method to be honest i feel like it really helps me with managing how much blush i put on you guys should definitely try this tip but i'm also looking forward to find a lot more cuter blushes because i feel like this one turns orange really really quick but i don't really mind putting on a lot of blush because the blush is pretty much the first things to disappear off your face when you're doing your makeup This is one of my tips for the girls who love a bright under eye but no, do not want to get any type of flashback whatsoever. I mean, you guys can see in the picture, I do not have any types of flashbacks. But I just use this technique to just blend it out properly and just take your time with it. Like, do not rush it. Just make sure to blend it out properly. And if it turns out too light, you can also go ahead and use a damp beauty blender. But it also goes down to what type of powders you use. I use three specific powders, which you guys are going to see later on in this video this is my second layer of powder i use first a setting powder which was the one from fenty and i'll go with the loose powder a banana y7 powder which is kind of like a neutral color it kind of fits everybody it's just like a powder in one shade and i just use that to calm down the brightness and also make it look a bit more flattering i don't know if you guys get my point but i just use this powder to do anything like set my face i do absolutely everything with this powder let me know if you guys have any type of powders I can try out. I've heard some people asking me to try the Huda Beauty, which I definitely will try out really, really soon. But I just need to get rid of some of the powders because I do have a lot of powders in my draw. But I would definitely love try to try out the Huda Beauty. now time for some eyeshadow i went over with my bronzing palette which you guys saw me apply earlier which is the revolution bronzer now at first i was like should i go a little bit more crazy with this or should i just keep it neutral and i was like you know what let's just add a little bit more color so i went over with the eyeshadow palette which i'm currently holding now the color that i went for is like a brown smoky ish definitely not the best that i've done but i mean it's a little something i'm not a pro eyeshadow girly yet but i really think it turned out pretty cute i mean i love the color i've not done eyeshadow in such a long time and i feel like this color enhances my eye in some sh way shape or form i really don't know how to explain it now for the part that i'm so anxious about which is the eyeliner part i mean i'm always so anxious about doing eyeshadow i mean eyeliner but it always turns out 
pretty good honestly i just need to stop doubting myself but i mean the eyeliner it turned out pretty good in my opinion now if y'all know then y'all know that i love me some good blush now i just went over with the same blush that i was using on earlier the thing i really love about this revolution blush is that it's not too pigmented so i can go with as much layers as i want without it looking crazy i'm being pretty light-handed as well now i'm just going to go over with a pressed powder which is a little brightening powder you guys can pretty much see the difference from the left side to the right side i absolutely love this powder it's the nyx matte and poreless powder it's from a drugstore i mean it's a drugstore item of course but it's amazing and i definitely love it for the price and i got in the darkest shade for the ones who are asking throughout my makeup draw and then i remember that i have this lip gloss which i was originally meant to film with but the video turned out terrible so i just ended up forgetting about it and i just saw it today and i was like oh my god let me try it back on one thing i will say is that it burns your lips uh you guys can't really tell my reaction but over there my lips were literally on fire but it's a lip plumper as well and i just went over to line my lips again i really love this cherry makeup lip combo i know you guys get it but i think it's the cutest thing now just going back to add back my mole because it always disappears whenever i do my makeup and i absolutely love my mole i think it's pretty unique i mean it's not too big but i think it's unique okay y'all so that was basically it for this entire makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it. if you guys did please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video peace